spitballing. Spit. I think that's a thing. Hi, people on the other side of a camera lens. Today I have some work to do that involves not getting glue in my hair. If you're new and you'd like to get caught up on that guy over there, my 1969 VW Beetle that I am building to give to one of you. The link is in the video description below. And if you're new and you'd like to get caught up on life up above is a link to things you should not tell pigeons to do in public. <laughs> In the last video, I started doing the install of the headliner on the bug in the original black vinyl the car would have came with from the factory. I thought this would just look good with the exterior paint being that toga white color and also the fact that the roll cage is gloss black, which I had to remove to do the rest of the install of this headliner because I would just get glue all over it and it would be in the way. So I watched a tutorial on YouTube from a YouTube channel called JBugs, which helped out quite a bit and showed some tips and tricks on how to do this headliner, especially the trimming around the edges and the windows like you're seeing right here. Cutting it to little strips made it a lot easier. The areas on the B pillar right here were super tricky to do to make the transition between the upper fabric and the lower B panel pieces of fabric. And then over here by the driver's side door, this is actually fairly easy because there's little metal tabs that just fold the headliner material up underneath it and keep it pulled nice and tight. And that's kind of the whole trick to this entire headliner is just making sure the fabric is pulled nice and tight. And this is what it ended up looking like. Here is the driver's side door area. You can see where the natural stitching is at in the headliner. It's pretty pulled nice and tight, but there's still some lines and creases in the material just from how it sat inside the box. Box. Up here it's a little bit looser because I haven't done up by the windshield area yet. You can see lots of the wrinkles right there that I was talking about. Even my steamer didn't have any effect on them. I had so much of this glue in my hair after the first day of doing this. Thankfully my roll cage hides this entire area. Hides all blades. Razor blades. This is way more stressful doing this not on time lapse. Cut it at those dots. Now I gotta make strips of bacon. Mm, that sounds delicious. If there's one tech tip I can give you, it's when this stuff sprays, it's fair game to where it will go. If this tip is clogged, even the slightest bit, it could end up in your hair, your eyes, all of your clothes, on the wall, the ceiling. So. Just be cautious. Also, any excess residue that gets all over the place, it comes right out, other than in your hair. You have to cut that out. That part sucks. I can trim some of these. They're a little, a little too crazy. So I'm gonna take this and fold it probably about right there. I need to pull that up. There's gonna be a bunch of excess little fibers of glue all over the place. That doesn't matter because once it dries, you can just wipe it all off and it won't, you won't see it anymore. Fold over. Yeah, right about like that. We'll wipe a little bit of that excess off now. a fan of how this looks honestly I just feel it would have looked a lot better foam behind the vinyl I don't like seeing all the ribs and structure behind it my secret to getting the overspray off. I don't want it right there. 
Comes right off, just like getting a Brazilian. Uh, more right here. No overspray. Done. The worst part is over, I hope, I think. Listen for it. See? Sounds toit. I'm actually kind of pleased how it turned out. It's a little wrinkly looking up here in the corners, but I think that will go away as it sits over time. This side looks a lot tighter over here. I got a little bit of overspray up here. That's okay, I'll use my tape trick. Yep, it works. It's the final pieces. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I feel like my brain is starting to itch from using this stuff all day. I don't like it. I want to be done. That's done right there. So this thing, I have to fold into essentially a giant choco taco. I really miss those. They stop making them. How wide? I can wide make it as wide as I want to make it wide. I think I can wide. Choco taco. See where I need to make my other choco taco. Choco taco. Out like right there. I had to come outside for fresh air. I was starting to get a headache. You gotta use proper ventilation with that stuff. I decided to give the ants one of my chips and they look pretty happy about it. They've moved it quite a bit. I feel like I should help them. There it goes. Piece number one. Man, they really appreciated that help. This guy over here has got like a corn nut or something. Look at it. It's going down. See, teamwork. All he needed was a human finger. Welcome to the following day. It is now time for me to make the carpet match the drapes. <laughs> I was like thinking about saying that for like the past two hours. I was like so excited. That's how cheesy and lame I am. Well, I should probably vacuum before I put the carpet down. It's, it's a mess in here now. Flammable vapor, vapor harmful. I'm wearing my spacesuit for this one. This glue looks a little bit more gnarly than the first stuff. Space helmet engaged. Oh, that stuff looks gross. This is like smearing a giant snot all over the inside of the car. It literally looks the same color as like baby snot. I think it's a good thing I can't smell anything right now. It doesn't smell like glue, so this thing's doing its job. Here it goes. This sucks. I have to like squeeze in here. and adjust it. So I'm gonna go like up to where the shifter is. That stuff smells horrible. Absolutely horrible. Oh, I gotta go outside. I got the door open now. A little bit of air through there. I don't wanna let all the air conditioning out though. I just aired out the shop for like 30 minutes because it was bad in here. So I think I gotta do the cage before I can put this in. That makes most sense. There's three pieces left, that and the two side pieces side pieces. It's actually coming out not too bad. I'd give this aftermarket carpet a solid B plus fitment wise. All right. Yep, like right here. Oh, there's 
that one. Wait. Do I have the right side? No! This is not easy with one person. Yeah, that's right. Ouch! Ouch, my skin! That gloss black cage against the black vinyl looks fire. I just gotta get this thing out in the heat so I can get rid of the wrinkles, but other than that. I guess I can put these in next. This piece right here goes underneath this lip that I gotta gently bend up. I hope I don't crack the paint, but if it does crack, it doesn't matter because I got some sills that are gonna hide this. <laughs> that is absolute sheer luck that that paint didn't crack. Jeez. This is tight. There we go. I really don't want to smell that glue anymore. So I'm going to get everything ready before I have to put any more glue down. I strategically pre-ran some speaker wire just because I knew that would be a nightmare to try to do that later. This is just kind of spit, spitballing. Spit, I think that's a thing. But I was kind of considering doing the speaker is mounted up on the roll cage like you'd have in a Jeep or a Bronco. I just, there's no good factory speaker locations in this car anywhere. This side cracked a little bit on the edges, but again, it does not matter because I got door sill plates for this. I don't even know why I painted down there. This should be it. wondering why I'm not using a rubber mallet that's because my rubber mallet is in the trash long story short when a rubber mallet becomes a two-piece and the top piece flies off and hits you it goes in the trash I'm not gluing this side piece down until I know a hundred percent no more wires will ever need to get routed through there shit how do I know where the holes are that's what he said oh, how am I gonna do this I need to see I guess I can lift it mildly tricky mildly tricky I think I can do it. The hole is directly below this. I have a strategy. Trust me. There. Okay. So now I know where to make my cut. Okay, I gotta do this again. Like that. Tilt this. I just need to make a slit hole to hole. I gotta go a little bit further. Okay, a little door. Anything over here? Should be enough to get the foot through there. Oh, I can do one side at a time. That side. That end. There, now that I got that through, I can trim the excess carpet around the square of the foot. This, I gotta strategize because I need to leave access to put the seat brackets in. It makes the most sense to me to do this dry and do one side at a time because I know I'll get glue all over this robotic turkey. And then that goes back down over it. Okay, so that's my plan. Here it goes. I can't believe I got all of this done in one video. <laughs> this is a lot of work. I know it probably doesn't look like it, but this was a lot of work. This is like petting a giant furry snake dog. Oh, is it stinky in there? It's, the air is like flammable. Now that that's taken care of, the next step to accomplish is sitting inside this box right here. The contents of which are the seats, however, the rear is getting deleted. I never had a back seat when I bought the car. So I have to do a little bit of custom work back there. I feel like when you're playing Fallout and your rads counter is like going off the charts, that's what's happening right now. Just walking near this. Man, that's stinky. Yeah, I can put the door cards on now and the rear cards and the glass can go in. I think the next video though, what I have planned is to do dry ice blasting on the underside and also take care of the engine because it's pretty grody which means i might have an mr2 video coming up for you soon as well because 
I want to dry ice blast under the MR2 while I'm doing this one. I'm going to have them both on the lifts at the same time. I have a lot of parts for the MR2 actually that I want to put on the car. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Japan that's been sitting in boxes for a while. But yeah, that's what's coming up next on the Beetle. Also, as far as the giveaway goes, some of you had requested size 3XL and I didn't do them when I did the TT giveaway because um, I didn't know how many would actually sell. So there's a limited stock of them on a couple designs, I think. I don't know. I don't handle that stuff that PowerJDM guys do. But they did stock some, so if that's what you're looking for, got you. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'm going to get out of here before I catch fire. Bye!